Hey guys, just wanted to show you what the pipes look like after I've been conditioning them for a while. You can see there's quite the white coating on them. Pretty interesting. Um, let's see if I can get a side shot. very coated, extremely white, and uh, right now I have, let's count them, one rod, two rods, three rod, four rod, five rods hooked up, and I want to show you something cool that's happening. Um, the PWM itself takes or consumes um, two milliamps. Uh, and the lowest setting I can put this on as soon as I turn it on, the cell will consume one milliamp. And I just want to show you what it does at one milliamp. Uh, I know it's not much, but, but it is. It's impressive that it's basically zero power. You know, it's barely turned on. So let me show you what happens when I turn it on. <clears throat> Bear with me a second here. Takes a second to get going. That's pretty good production for one milliamp. Like it's barely turned on. That's as low as the setting will go. Um, so the, the uh, PWM consumes 0 0.02 and it's at 0 0.03 right now. So that in itself <clears throat> is pretty amazing. I th honestly think it's due to the conditioning. Camera focus. There we go. So again, that's basically one milliamp. <clears throat> now, if I even just turn it up to, say, 10 milliamps, So well, that's the production at 10 milliamps. Just quite a bit. Like the container's filling up quickly. And the interesting thing is it does not foam at all. I'll show you the top and I will uh, turn it up to, um, I guess, half an amp. 
and you can see it just doesn't foam, uh, which is new. It usually, I don't think I've had that happen before where the foam just stops. So I'll just turn it up to about an amp. It basically stays like that, it just doesn't fall.